Hey babe, um, I just got to Paris, walked into the hotel lobby, got my passport out for check-in, and then um, I literally, five seconds later, I noticed that my backpack had gone. And I'm just absolutely devastated. We're here in Paris. We are working with a brand on Instagram. Um, and just long story short, to encapsulate it, we arrived at the hotel and Leah's bag got stolen literally right from under her feet. So we're just going to show you the footage from last night. So we've arrived in Paris. Um, as soon as we arrived in the hotel, Leah had her bag stolen with um, her laptop, camera, hard drives, memory cards, so we're just at the police station. I'm not allowed in apparently for security reasons, so she's in there by herself. It's probably about 5,000 pounds worth of equipment, and uh, yeah, we were very safe all the way here, really conscious. We arrived at the hotel in the lobby, checking in, relaxed a little bit. She put a bag down next to her, and literally within two seconds it was gone, so. Absolute scumbags. I hope, I hope I get it back. I'm not expecting to get it back. But yeah. um, we just wanted to tell you guys what, yeah. what had happened. And also, <laughs> we're working yeah. out here. Yeah, yeah. We were meant to be promoting Paris. <laughs> Travel to Paris, guys. And also, that's the thing. Like, we've posted on our individual Instagram stories about it, or I have. Yeah. And it's like, we can't put anything on our joint Instagram because we're supposed to be working with this brand all like for these three days yeah having a good time in paris to promote this so yeah. if people look at our instagram you'll be like well, well they're, they're having a great you look time. like you're having an amazing time but that's not exactly well it's not at all how it is yeah um, literally just stranded everyone. now in the middle um, of paris a taxi dropped us off we got into oh, an argument God. with him i think the hotel are paying for it well they are hotel are paying said. that's what they said no, I've, I've got out of cry, having so to pay much. for it, but now we've got no way to get home. Don't even know where we are. Okay. Um, Leah's just on the phone, but she's oh, okay. Yeah. So this is where we're staying. That is the street we walked down earlier. Uh, we're never so coming. Anymore. No, we're never coming back to Paris <laughs> no, we're again. No, honestly, not like I've never been to Paris and had a good experience. And no. This time I was literally like, it's gonna be amazing. It's yeah. gonna be so great. Like not coming back. No way. So what's gone? Um, my. Apple Mac, MacBook Pro, my laptop, which has got everything on it. My brand new G7X camera. So we're using Joel's one to film this, but um, for anyone who doesn't know, the money that you guys have been donating on coffee. <sighs> the money that you guys, are, you're gonna stop me crying. <laughs> we used so that we could buy a camera which cost like 550 pounds and that's brand new and that was in my bag and that got stolen um everything just like a hard drive memory cards like thousands and thousands of pounds worth of equipment has has gone in my bag oh my purse as well all my credit card debit cards my id all of my just cards all my stuff we just wanted to make this video because we had so many plans for paris and we're like we're gonna do this we're gonna do that mm. we're gonna do this and it's all just kind of like been shattered we got here then it, we got into an argument with the hotel because they were like we can't check the cameras until tomorrow morning well, literally, they've been like this they've hotel is beautiful useless. but they've been completely useless they wouldn't check the cameras till the morning their english is quite broken which isn't their fault <laughs> But um, chocolate luckily, chocolate. our management, oh my gosh, so we signed with our management in April, it's called Studio 71, and they've been amazing, like, they called us right away as soon as they saw that Lyra tweeted about this. Goodness, all the chocolate smells melted. It's melted. Great. Great. <laughs> oh. I'll put it in the fridge. Yeah, go for it. They've been honestly amazing. They've been calling us, telling us what to do. They Did they call the hotel? They called the hotel, they contacted the French police, they've done yeah. everything, like, the French... The hotel was saying, um, I've got one out now, I'll eat the melted oh. one, the rest are in the fridge. Anyway, they wouldn't check the cameras until tomorrow morning, so we've just had to put up with that. We'll hopefully find out, maybe see who did it yeah. in the morning, and we'll take it to the police station. Yeah. But, so I went down, because our manager was like, Joel, can you go down and demand speak to them, and to see what's going on? So I told them, you need to, like, are the police coming? So I, my manager said that the police are on their way, can you go and speak to the police in the lobby? Leah, you stay in the room. Yeah, I was a mess. Yeah. I was a total fucking mess. So I went down, I was like, so where are the police then? And they're like, no, not calling the police. And I was like, why not? And then someone else chipped in and was like, 
this is a separate business to the hotel. And I was like, no, this literally happened in your lobby, right in front of your eyes while we were checking in. This is your business. Call the police now. And he did, luckily. Well done, um, but then, <sighs> I don't know why I'm getting upset. <laughs> no, no. It's stupid because it's not even happened to me, it's you. No, I know, but my Joel came back up to the room and was like, I'm really just, I'm just really sad because you're sad. <laughs> and the annoying thing is, it's not even like, like we said we were obviously tourists, but we, we said to each other, we were like, okay, don't act like tourists, like make sure you've got your stuff on you. Like yeah. we're not stupid, we're not thick. We know no. that Paris is one of the most like theft ridden cities in Europe, more so than London. I mean, we're so hot on safety that yeah. literally we educate people on that all the time. Yeah. Whenever they come to London, we're like, you know, don't walk with your phone out on the street, blah, blah, blah. We like, were, just we were like, aware that this We were just happens. like, this, you know, it's got to be so hot. And that's it. why it's so upsetting because it was like, it literally happened in the lobby where we should have been safe. Yeah. And right next to you. It wasn't like Leah left her bag like further away in the lobby. No, like it was right, it right, next, right to next to you. You know when you've got your travel on suitcase and there's there's like the, the wheelie bit. Yeah. The, the bit that you drag it. Just that. propped against that. I think the thing is, like we're out here working. Yeah. And we've paid like we've been given a budget which we chose to spend in order to mm. stay in the centre of Paris and somewhere nice. Yeah. And we booked it really last minute, so we spent all our money on this hotel. But it just so happens that this posh place is where they target. Yeah. So if we'd have stayed in a shithole and like come, gone home with a profit and not yeah. spent the money, we would have gone home with everything. Um, and we're not promoting this hotel. I mean, I wish they knew how many people would be willing to give them a bad review. <laughs> then they might get the freaking camera up yeah. and let us have a like, look at the footage. They were so, like even the man who was trying to deal with it, when he was on the phone to the police, he walked away and the phone fell off the desk. He was like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, this is, like, is this a floor, joke? Like, the phone like bounced yeah. off the floor, like what an idiot. Also, we haven't even said that, so we have been dropped off, Leah finished at the police station. We're in the middle of nowhere. We have no idea where we are. We don't oh, have yeah. a map. No, My phone's on 10% battery. No cab, no cab to bring us back. No cab Just to bring like, us home. we come out of the police station and we're like, now what? Yeah. Like, it, where the, the streets hell are, are empty. We? No idea where we are. Oh my God. Like literally, it feels, it felt a bit like a nightmare or like the things that you watch, like people do story times. I guess this counts as a story time. People do these sorts of story times on YouTube or you see films like this, but you never really, and everyone says it, but you never really think it will happen to you. Like we're literally lost in a foreign city. No one really speaks English, like ridiculous. Yes, thank you. Second day, um, today is the morning that I go and look at the security cameras with the owner of the hotel at 8 a.m. This is the street. It's weird, like when you've had something stolen, you can't help but just look at every single person like, are they carrying my bag? So we're so done with Paris that we've come to the most American place possible. <laughs> Starbucks, which is quite Frenchified. Have you ever seen a Starbucks that looks like this in your life? Joel's just waiting for our coffees. We've treated ourselves to a cake. Look how French it is in here. What you can't see it, or you can. Oh, can. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Thank you, Vincent. Thanks for letting us know. Bye. So they said that they could see very clearly who it was. It was a man standing behind us. Had no idea that no someone idea. stood behind us. Right. Um, so they've got a very clear view of who it is. So um, he said, when we come back to the hotel, we need to give them the receipt from the police station. So I said, it's obviously the confirmation of the crime number. Yeah. And I said, we'll be back in about an hour. He was like, that's fine. And just as soon as you arrive back, ask the concierge from me yeah. and I'll come out and I'll take the number. And then we can probably ask him if we can film it as well. Okay. Um, but they, so it wasn't in our brains or like, we didn't like, someone was there behind yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can see that we weren't like idiot tourists just like leaving our stuff everywhere. Like right. it was right there and right. someone came up right behind you and grabbed it and walked on. Fuck off. Is Vincent working all day? Yeah, well yeah. He, he said come back whenever yeah. you can and ask for me. So I think he's there until, because we arrived at nine. Yeah. So I think he's probably there till five or six because okay. he's the deputy manager. And because we've got no laptop, where are we going now? We're off to the Apple store because the video is supposed to go live today. Rude American swear words. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we haven't finished 
some of the stuff to do on the video. So, and we haven't got a laptop. I don't have one. Leah's one got stolen, obviously. So we're going to see if we can do it in the Apple Store. All right, a nice bit of closure from Vincent from yeah. the hotel. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel seeing the footage. Probably yeah. a bit sick. Yeah. Um, my stomach's upside down. Yeah. But just nice to know. I didn't bloody imagine no. it. Like, Joel, you know, at the beginning, of course, you're like, you sure you didn't leave it on the tube? Are you yeah. sure you didn't leave it there? I was like, I literally had it. Yeah. I knew I knew I had it. No, it's just nice to get that confirmation. Yeah, it's confirmation. better than if they didn't see anyone, but it will be horrible yeah, to watch. Yeah, yeah. And like, just the fact that earlier in the hotel, we said, um, oh, is this a normal thing? And he froze up. Like, I was like, does this happen often? And he was like, eh, sorry, that's it so racist. It can happen. It can happen. And I was like, yeah, okay. And then we were like, what are you gonna do with the footage? He was like, well, normally I send it to the police on a memory stick. Normally. normally. Of course it's fucking happened before. Uh, anyway. Joel, what to do? <laughs> so literally when he said it to me, obviously you'll have seen the footage, I was like, what? You can see him or you can't. And he was like, no, I can, can. <laughs> like emphasizing can. I just, just found it really funny. Oh I was like, God. thanks, Vincent. Thanks, Vincent. Yeah. Very French building your head. Oh, very, French. very, very French. Very, very French. We had all these ideas for the vlog that we were going to go up to buildings and be like, that's very French. That is very French. French. I know, literally. Oh. And that we would go to the Empire, uh, not the, we would go to the Eiffel Tower and be like, oh, the Empire State Building. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally so many fun ideas, but I don't think we're going to be able to do them. No. Oh, well. we're spies, Joel. We're spies. Spy kids. <laughs> spy kids now, honestly. Spies. Just got to the Apple Store. Obviously, like, our minds are in a different place. They're not even open yeah, yet. Yeah, we've been awake for hours. We've and been awake we're like, oh, it's like hot face. Seven, and it's, yeah, they're not open yet. Yeah. We just keep getting, like, messages from people just saying, like, let me know if I can do anything. I, there's nothing you can do. Like, you cancel all my bank cards. You can't send money. Yeah. You can send money to our coffee page. Because <laughs> then maybe we'll be able to buy all the stuff again. Um, oh, everyone's been so nice. Everyone's been so nice. Leah's just on the phone to her insurance company. Um, don't know if any of her stuff's covered, but um, it's worth a shot. I think her laptop might be, uh, but all the other stuff isn't. So. Uh, yeah. We're just in a shopping centre. I think we're sat in McDonald's. So I just thought we've now come into the centre of Paris to find the Apple store to try and send this work I need to send because I haven't got a laptop now. Um, the lap laptop, the Apple store is not open, so I thought, right, I'll sit down and call you guys to report this. And now I'm in the process of heading back to the hotel, collecting the footage and then delivering it to the police. But the hotel, the hotel man said, because I said to him, does this normally happen in your in the lobby of your hotel? And he's he just froze up and he was like, um, he just froze up and went, it can happen. And I was like, okay. And then he said, normally I give the footage on a memory stick. Normally I give the footage on a memory stick to the police. I was like, normally? So you just said normally. So it's happened before. They've probably got a system of people that walk into these really expensive, lovely four-star hotels and they, they're they working together. I'm not saying the hotel are in on it. I'm saying there is a team of people. One is a distraction. One comes behind. One takes your bag. So I'm going back now to look at the footage, but I had to call you guys first because I, I just needed to get this reported. I it's incredible. It was the man to, mm. to watch the man is yeah. just behind you mm -hmm. okay. and with his, his feet mm -hmm. uh, he took the, the bag and he, he slid like that yeah, you're going to, to see. so first this is outside oh, okay that's outside is that the guy what i can do is i, I can send you oh, that would be good if you can send the, the picture but if you okay. want to. yeah yeah sure. so this is the guy Right, yeah. okay. Okay. Didn't see him on Didn't the see that guy. Right. I did not see that guy. This is after That's my that's bag. Right. That's my bag. This is after Yeah, that's my bag. Mm. It was open. He didn't even zip it up because the bag is open because I took my passport yes, it out. Was, it was on on, uh, on the uh, oh, on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, God. Uh, there's me and checking this in. This is a picture just behind you. Right. Yeah. I did not feel his presence you know, behind yeah, me. When you feel it's someone amazing. behind and you. And this is the, the video I showed. Okay. So oh, there we are. So that's the chicken. This oh is my god, Look at I feel him. sick. Look at him. Oh. oh. Look, 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 look. You're going to see. With that. his leg. What? With his leg sliding the bag. We're going to see the bag. <sighs> 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Stop oh it. my god, oh my god. Sorry. Wow. And it took a minute, he entered at 24 past uh, 21. Oh, wow. 24 past minutes nine. past nine. And he left the hotel at uh, 25. Wow. So it was literally as soon as we'd come, because yeah, we came we took in. a picture outside the hotel just there at 21 minutes mm -hmm. past mm -hmm. nine. That bag was stolen at 24 minutes past. Wow. We le he left at 25 In past. order to have a, a, be a better um, uh, definition, mm -hmm. I will send you the, the pictures. Okay. Thank you. So you've just seen the footage. Um, was mental, like so sneaky. so so sneaky. How do we miss him? He's How fat. do we miss him? He was so oh. fat. Um, he, the hotel manager, told us that before. So we came from the hotel that way. He entered from that so he way. Wasn't even following he wasn't us. following us. He came in behind us. He was eyeing up the bag, as you saw in the video. He pulled the bag, the foot, like with, with his, his foot. foot. And that and was all within one, one minute. Within sixty seconds, he entered left at the hotel. nine twenty-four and left at nine twenty-five. Um, unbelievable unbelievable i don't what? know where he walked after he walked that way out the hotel the way we arrived he walked that way um i don't know well i'm glad we've seen it I'm, i know I'm, puts yeah. a bit of closure in the mind yeah. but yeah the, the hotel have apologized mm. you know they said oh i'm sure you had loads of things to do in paris and we just said we want to go home now mm. um They've closed their front doors now to the hotel. Usually those doors are wide open and there's no doormen. In, in the UK, we have people standing on the door, yeah, doormen, security. security, just to say, you know, you staying here? Oh. Anyway. So we've just arrived at the Louvre, which is really cool. It's very hot today, so we're just trying to stay in the shade. And I got very excited because of all the films that have been made here. And we're yeah. just looking forward to exploring Paris with each other. Yeah. Best mates forever. Forever. <laughs> like We won't mention who the brand is, but in case some of you guys know, it's nothing to do with them at all. They just were responsible for getting us here and taking us home. Apart from that, That's it's it. nothing to do with them. No. Um, There's nothing anyone could do. Um, about it and you know we've had an overwhelming amount of messages and i just want to thank everyone who's messaged joel and myself on social media before this has even gone on youtube and everyone who's donated money to our <laughs> yeah to my mom Um, I want to say thanks to everyone who's donated to our coffee page because that money that we make um, after this video goes up and from when it got stolen will go back towards buying all of the equipment back. Because mm -hmm. what's the, what is that equipment for? It's to make videos for you guys and yeah. so that this channel can be amazing. I think we've said it before, but I think that's what makes it upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> It's because it doesn't because we do all this for you guys and for us like we love it but we do it for you guys because we care about you like it feels like someone's robbed from you guys because we said like we put lots of that money that you've donated towards the equipment for this channel so it feels yeah. more personal because it's all of us but yeah okay so yeah just want to thank everyone for the messages mm. Luckily, Joel's got a copy of my house key, yeah. so he's given me a copy of it. Um, my Bluetooth headphones, ninety pounds. Let alone your bag itself. My bag itself. Oh, I wear that bag every day. It's the best laptop bag in the world. And it's, it's lasted. I it's paid thirty stylish. pounds for my bag, it's, and it's falling apart. Yeah, like, yeah. It's the yeah. best laptop bag from um, Targus, California. Um, my rail card which I need to get a replacement of because I need, I can't travel without that rail card. My Edinburgh show is on it, on the, on the, all the sound cues from my Edinburgh show, my travel adapters, notebook, Edinburgh ideas, travel videos, photographs, memories, Joel's banana. My banana, I he gave, gave you me a banana. <laughs> and uh, I bet that fat fucker ate it. I know, probably as he walked out of the hotel with your bag, which oh, you can see the you photo see. of him walking down the street with Leah's bag in his hand. Still open. Still open, probably eating that banana, shoving it down his fat, fat face. face. My Wake Me For Prosecco um, eye mask. These Which are is all for just, New York. Yeah, that was for New York. We were like, oh, I can't wait to wear that on the plane to yeah. New York. And some expensive makeup from Charlotte Tilbury, which I mm. bought for the wedding I was at last yeah. week. That's pretty and much everything in the bag. Your birthday card from me that I gave to you at the oh coast Oh my station. God, Joel gave me a birthday present. card and a present. And every single year, 
I keep my birthday card. I keep all my birthday cards, but I keep my birthday cards from Joel because every year he writes a meaningful message in them. It's fine, like we're not hurt and we're not like we're so lucky that we weren't mugged or like yeah. anything like that. And yeah. we might I'm sure we'll look at this video in a few yeah, years. Yeah, we'll just laugh like, at this. Why are we so upset, why are we so upset? <laughs> crying in a four star hotel so, room? Like we yeah. know it can sound ridiculous, but it's yeah. just shocking when you it does you don't expect it to happen. Yeah. This was our, as we said, our first ever trip away as John and Leah, like, you know how much work we've put into this channel. This year it's become our job. We're just starting to work with brands and like they're sending us away and we're like we just so wanted, unbelievably yeah. happy and grateful that we're getting these opportunities and then the first thing we get. I took the la I took the passport out of the bag. I gave the passport to the check-in people. The bag was to my side and it fell from on top of my suitcase onto the floor. The guy comes in, he's checking out the situation. He's eyeing up the bag on the floor. He's looking at us and he's looking at the bag and he's looking at us. He's checking that we're not going to turn around. He's got his leg out and into the arm of the bag and he's pulling the bag towards him. And there's a moment where you see the bag and his leg yeah. pull it. Then he picks it up gently. The bag's still not, if the bag's still unzipped from when I took the passport out and he just carries it out of the hotel in the space of 60 seconds. The annoying thing is he was walking away from the hotel. If we'd seen it immediately, yeah, I'd I know. outrun that fat fucker. Yeah, life. he was fat. Scum of the earth. Absolute scum of the earth. Yeah. I like, to be honest, I know we've got French viewers. We, like, obviously love you guys. It's nothing about French people, but, like, we've been warned about Paris. We've been warned that it's not as safe as London. It's not as safe as any other European country, like, big cities. And, like, we it has put us off Paris. Like, us we're off. never coming back. We're never coming back to Paris. No way. Okay, you might be watching this video now. You might be a YouTube creator. You might be thinking, our oh, management's calling us. Yeah, well, I was just saying, if you're a YouTuber, you're probably thinking, oh, look at them inserting all these ads trying to make money off of a soft story. And actually, that's absolutely yeah, that's what we're doing. Absolutely that is 100%. Doing. It's just now, it's just me getting the money back and to replace, to replace all that stuff. So, yeah, yeah, that's why we've inserted the ads. If you could watch the ads, yeah, that one might really help us. <laughs> Part of us feels really guilty asking you guys to support us, but at the end of the day, these videos are also are for you. So like, if you yeah. can afford it, if you can afford to support us, our, as Leah said, our coffee page is all gonna be going towards no more Prosecco, no, no more coffee. No more it's coffee. Gonna, it's gonna be going all towards equipment. replacing this equipment. Um, but if you can't, that's fine. Just watching fine. our videos is it's great. Um, yeah, thank you guys for being so amazing. The support that we've all had, and especially, obviously, Leah. Um, has been incredible. So thank you for being so kind. Thanks everyone. Yeah, yeah it's really overwhelming to hear from people because, mm. you know, a lot of people on Instagram, I looked at my, you know, indirect messages yeah. and there's, I'm sure you'll probably never read this. I've read every single message. I've not got time to reply because I've just been on the phone to people trying to sort shit out. Mm -hmm. But I'm really, really grateful. Yeah. And like, I can't believe how many of you have said that you've had similar experiences in Paris, whether it's phone, this, someone trying to mug your parents, you yeah. can't believe it. Someone said their grandma even had a similar experience in Paris. Hideous. Like, who does that to anyone, but let alone, let alone grandma. Your grandma. <sighs> We're just um, checking out the hotel now. <sighs> can't even stand in the lobby without feeling sick. Um, Joel's just getting an invoice for our time here. And um, yeah, we're heading back home now. Well done, Joel. Um, we need to take one more picture for the branded content that we're doing out here. So we're gonna get that and then we're off. So we've just left the hotel. We're now off back to London. It's been a whirlwind journey and Paris has been amazing. Yeah, so <laughs> um, we gotta go get home. Hmm. We also just bought a gigantic baby bell. Can oh you just God. show them? Yeah. Do you want the first one? Resorted to. So we're just eating our feelings now. Leah's Jeez. feelings mainly like I feel bad because it hasn't happened to me. It affects both of us, Joel. Yeah, but mainly you. Yeah. Also, jo Joel's credit debit card is practically overdrawn because <laughs> we paid for the hotel from your account. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Never mind. We'll figure it out. We will. Um, we'll get this video online as soon as we can. Yeah. As soon as we have a laptop to edit it. <laughs> That's the end of the video. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Yeah. That's it, guys. Do all the things if you can. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, if you're new to this channel, you probably won't be if you're <laughs> watching won't, this. Probably won't want to but subscribe. subscribe to this. I don't know. Um, and we'll see you next time. And we'll be back to our happy, fun-loving selves. Yeah. Um, we bulk film our videos, so there's bit pre videos that have been pre-filmed that go out on our channel. Yeah. This video has interrupted the schedule yeah. but that's fine i feel like it needed to go up i feel like we needed to tell you guys what's going on yeah in case you're looking at our social media going hang on are they happy or have yeah. they been mugged like what's going on that is the it, tea as they that's say that's the tea yeah what's the tea i think it's slang for like if you spill the tea you oh, like yeah. divulge information yeah that's it that's it right we're expecting a phone call now and i also need to just get back on the phone okay. to sort out a few other cards that i need yeah Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. bye.